We begin this hour in the capital city. Next year, Columbia is putting a dozen city owned properties back on the market. That includes the Columbia Police Department's current headquarters on Washington Street. News 19's Becky Buds has more on what this could mean for downtown. What kind of new development does downtown Columbia need? We need more like, hotels, uh, we need more party spots. Probably more apartment complexes that are affordable. The city has some buildings it's going to put on the market that might help make some of those ideas become reality. Among them is the police department's current headquarters, as well as a two-story building on the corner of Bull and Taylor Streets and another on the corner of Main and Laurel Street. Columbia Mayor Daniel Rickenman says it's all to centralize city services. We've been traveling across the southeast meeting with developers who have um, proven that they build quality products and maintain them and help bring the right clients to those properties. So we'll continue to do that. According to public records, the total value of the three properties adds up to at least $3 million. Once they're sold, Rickenman anticipates a big boost in tax revenue for the city, which could then be used to rejuvenate other parts of town. Using some of those fundings as well to be the seed, and then we just keep rolling those dollars into other projects so that we can continue to be kind of the, the planter of the seed and kind of spark growth in, in areas that need a little injection. To bring these developments, Rickenman says the city needs more density. So we lost nine and a half percent of our population over the last decade, so building that back up. New construction, smaller, uh, more uh, amenity driven properties is what people are looking for today. Uh, In Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. And Columbia hopes to start construction on the new police headquarters in April or May of next year. The project could be complete in 18 months or less.